Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today, I'm out in the drive and we're working on the flatbed. So, as you can see, I've got uh, a lot of the stuff taken apart on the top end. And uh, today is a pretty big day. Uh, this is going to be broken up into multiple videos, I have a feeling, because we are replacing the injection pump, the injectors, and the big deal I'm working on first is I gotta pull this cover and get it resealed. Now the issue with that is uh, nine times out of 10, or I'll just say it's really easy to knock this thing out of time and then uh, not very easy to get it back in time. So we're going to try and do this without having to tear the whole front of the engine apart to get down to the timing cover to get down to the gear set. We'll see what happens. Let's get at it. So as you can see, I've got most of everything taken off. The intake tube off, got some of the return lines off, got the throttle cable and all that stuff out of the way. And now we are down to the pump, which the hard lines are all disconnected. Uh, I'm gonna leave them on the pump or try to anyways. And uh, yeah, I am ready to try and pull this cover. So what we've done is set the engine to top dead center, which I slide this down in here. This is how the bolt pattern should look. The little uh, drive pin right here should be about the four o'clock position. And this bolt here should be pointing straight down. Uh, there's also a timing mark down on the balancer that is lined up on zero. So that should be TDC compression on number one. So, we have removed the cover on the front, and I've taken two slightly longer bolts than the factory ones, ran them in, and snugged them down against this gear, so this gear won't turn. And hopefully, that will be enough to let me take this cover and pump off, clean that bottom of the housing, and clean the block really well, get a good coat of RTV on it, and get this put back in place without disturbing the timing. We'll see how it goes. There we go. I think I'll be able to get it dropped back on without uh, messing the timing up. 
uh, the gear did not move. It's locked pretty tight with those two bolts as far as the cover goes. And when you sit this back down on there, because of how the teeth on the gears are shaped, it's uh, it feels like it would be kind of difficult to get a tooth off as long as the gear doesn't rotate. So I'm going to clean this mess up. And as you can see, we clearly had oil leaking around both sides of this. So uh, I'm gonna get all this mess cleaned up and get the underside of that cover cleaned up. I'm gonna go in and pull the injection lines off the back of the pump so I don't have to fight them when I put it back on here. So I'm replacing the injection pump anyways. Um, but I want to have the timing cover and gear bolted back down and sealed up before pulling the pump from the housing because that's when things can get really wonky as far as timing goes so yeah that's what i'm gonna do get this mess cleaned up get it sealed up and get the housing bolted back down and then we will go about um, probably swapping injectors next we'll see let's get this cover back on okay we've got all the injector lines off right here and now i'm going to go through and clean off all of this junk there is a lot of it get this as clean as i can and wipe it down with some brake cleaner as far as the surface goes as you can tell the gear is not moving it's locked snug these bolts are just snug you might be able to see up in there against that gear face so should be good i'm going to go on and clean this up then i'll clean the uh, glock surface up make sure we're good there and get it sealed up get it bolted back on all righty we've got this one fairly cleaned up and uh if you look real close see that notch right there actually uh, indexes into a groove on the timing cover so as long as this gear does not rotate at all it can't bolt down offset so it has to go straight on it can only bolt on one way so it should line back up exactly how it came off but i got most if not all of the our old sealant out of the grooves and uh, I got some more cleaning to do on the block surface, but uh, I got most of it cleaned up down in here. I haven't touched it with any brake cleaner, but I'm gonna brake cleaner this off really well, let it completely dry, and then we should be ready to bolt it back on and hopefully solve the main oil leak on this engine. Then we'll get to the fun stuff. There's that little index notch. I was talking about but uh got it all cleaned up we should be ready to put a nice heavy bead of black rtv around that uh, flange i will also put some down here in the corners so i make sure to get those areas sealed up nice and tight and we should be good to drop the pump back on and we've got it bolted back on now, for now, the uh, the old pump is on it, but uh, yeah, you might be able to see the fresh RTV seeping out around the base of the housing, all the way around. It uh, when I went to put it back on, it went straight on, dropped on. I just uh, lined up the bolt holes from overhead, which is really easy to do. Just look straight down the bolt holes and set it straight down, and as it went straight down i felt it drop right into the gear and into that little notch on the timing cover so uh yeah i'd say it went back together exactly how it came apart so we should be good um if i was just fixing the oil leak i would just go on and put it back together and see where we were at but i am changing this pump and changing these injectors so on and so forth so I'm not going to put it all back together right now. So 
all that I need to do is pull these two bolts out. I've already torqued these bolts down, so everything should be good. It's locked in place. I can take these two bolts out, and the pump cover is done. So, uh, yeah, we will see how that goes here in a little bit. <sighs> Spam calls. Yeah, so um, I'm going to wrap this video up here because I kind of wanted to make a specific video just for fixing this leak. It's a pretty common leak and uh, on the surface, a pain to fix. But um, this was actually really easy. The hardest part was just getting everything taken apart. Uh, it took about an hour to get everything torn down, get the pump off. Uh, that included putting the motor on top dead center. So, yeah, it's not that bad as long as this process worked, which, uh, yeah, I will bring you back to that when I get the pump and injectors on. So, we'll see you then. Well, that's going to wrap this one up on the pump cover reseal. If you got any comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. I try to answer those as quick as possible. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. Helps us out quite a bit. Doesn't cost you anything. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.